welcome back to America's Next Top Barbie. Now, we are going to do something a bit different. We are going to compare photos, starting with week one. Now, I am going to go back there, and I am going to review all of your photos, starting with week one. And I am going to compare the photos. And whoever remains will move on to the next round. delivered this photo. If I had to choose which photo was the best to me, I will give them both a point. So both points goes to Ebony and Sandy for their close-up. Let's take a look at Ebony's shot where she was posing with Brad. I absolutely love this shot with Ebony. She seemed very relaxed here, like a true model. I did not see any negative vibe or tension when I look at this photo. Now let's take a look at Sandy and Brad. This photo right here with Sandy and Brad is very fun and playful. It was different. I felt that Sandy brought a whole new different pose to the table. It was fun, it was bright, and it was interesting. Now let's compare photos. Now I feel that Ebony's shot here is more, more like a model. It's like a fierce model. And Sandy, on the other hand, I feel that this move right here with Sandy is a bit playful. It's a bit commercial. And we are looking for a model. And if I had to compare photos and give, you know, a person a point, it would definitely go to Ebony because I feel that Ebony's shot right here is more fierce. It's more like a motto. But with Sandy, her shot here is a bit commercial. It's a bit too much. It's like Candyland. And so with that said, I'm going to give this point to Ebony. Now, let's go to Ebony's and Brad close-up shot. Now, this close-up shot with Ebony and Brad is very fierce. I see a true model when I look at her in this photo. It's soft and it's dramatic. And Brad is looking. And Brad is focused on Ebony and no one else. Let's take a look at Sandy. I feel that this photo with Sandy
Canadian bread is cute, it's playful, and again, it's commercial. We are looking for a fierce model. And I feel that Sandy, although her photo is cute here, it's nice and it's different, I just feel that Ebony's photo is a bit more dramatic. Well, Sandy is again, you know, leaning towards the commercial side, and that's not what we're looking for. Um, if I had to give a point, it would go to... I'm sorry, it, it would have to go to Ebony. I'm sorry. I feel that Sandy did an okay job here, but it's a bit commercial. We are looking for an edgy model. And to me, I feel that Ebony's photo is a bit more edgy, don't you think? With that said, the point goes to Ebony. Now, let's move on to week number two. They had to work with an African garment and wrap that garment around their body and make it work. Let's take a look at Ebony's far shot. Yes, when I saw this far shot of Ebony, I was blown away. She was getting stronger and stronger. I mean, look at the photo. It speaks volumes. This is a motto in the making. Let's take a look at Sandy's far shot. I was not really feeling this far shot from Sandy. It, it's not as strong as Ebony's, so this point goes to Ebony. Let's take a look at Ebony's close-up. I felt that Ebony's close-up shot was okay. It was okay. It wasn't nothing dramatic about it. It was just okay. Did I think she could have did better? Yes. Let's take a look at Sandy's close-up. This close-up shot of Sandy was amazing. I absolutely love this close-up shot of Sandy. It's glowing, it's popping, and it's radiant. So this point definitely goes to Sandy. Let's take a look at week number three, when they were posing in the jungle. Woman of the jungle. Let's take a look at Ebony's far shot. I love how she extend her arm like that. She was fierce. Let's take a look at Sandy's far shot. I thought Sandy looked very beautiful here in this photo. I think they both delivered very well. I will give them both a point. Let's take a look at Ebony's close-up shot. Ebony's close-up shot was okay. Nothing really fascinating. It was just okay. I do still see a beautiful girl. Let's take a look at Sandy's close-up. Yes, yes, when I saw this close-up shot of Sandy, she was giving me a whole new attitude, and I love it. So this point goes to Sandy. Let's take a look at the next week when they were posing as ballerinas. Let's take a look at Ebony's far shot. Ebony's far shot, it was okay. It was different. I knew she was trying hard, but is it popping? No, it's not. Let's take a look at Sandy's far shot. Sandy's far shot, it was okay too. I still do see a ballerina here. But if I was to compare the photos, I feel that Ebony was trying a bit hard. She was on her tippy toes. She was giving us posture. She was giving us a pose. And Sandy, she's posing too, but I felt that she wasn't giving us as much work as Ebony. If I had to give a point, it would go to, hmm, I will definitely give this point to, this is a hard decision because, you know what, I'm just going to give them both a point because this is a hard decision, so I will give them both a point. Let's take a look at Ebony's close-up shot. Ebony's close-up shot was okay. It was okay, nothing fascinating. It's a very soft photo, but it just wasn't one of my favorites. Let's take a look at Sandy's close-up. I feel that Sandy's close-up is very beautiful, and I think it pops just a bit more than did Ebony's, but I'm not quite sure. Let me take another look. I feel that one photo is not really dominating the other, so I will give them both a point. Let's move on to the next week. And this is when they were posing with the dragon. Let's take a look at Ebony's far shot. I felt that 
Ebony's first shot was very fierce. It was different and it was dramatic and I love it. She wasn't necessarily looking into the lens. She was looking at the distance of the light and the body, the posture that she's given us is really working. Let's take a look at Sandy's first shot. Sandy's first shot was okay here. It's not as strong as Ebony's first shot. I feel that Ebony is giving a bit more. She's bringing a bit more to the surface. So this point goes to Ebony. Let's take a look at their close-up shot. I like the angle that she was giving us. Was it one of my favorites? No, it wasn't. Let's take a look at Sandy's close-up. Now, I absolutely love this close-up shot of Sandy. This was the first picture that I thought that transformed her into a beautiful, fierce model. And I'm sure you guys agree. I mean, just look at this photo. Just compare the two. It's like, Sandy just dominated this close-up shot. I'm sorry, but this point definitely goes to Sandy. Let's move on to the next week. Southern Belle. Let's take a look at Ebony's far shot. I feel that Ebony's first shot was very beautiful. It's soft, it's inviting, and I feel it works. Let's take a look at Sandy's first shot. I felt that Sandy's first shot was okay, but again, I felt the light was overtaking her. It was just too much. If I had to give this point to someone, if it wasn't for that bright light, I'm going to give this point to Ebony. Now, let's take a look at their clips of shot starting with Ebony. So Ebony's clips of shot was beautiful. It's nice. You know, it's soft. I think it works. So yeah, I, I like it. Let's take a look at Sandy's clips of shot. I love this clips of shot of Sandy. And to me, I feel that Sandy's close-up shot is a bit more inviting than Ebony's, although they did both did very well. I just feel that Sandy's close-up shot, personally, I feel she did a bit better. So I'm just going to give this point to Sandy. And with that said, I am going to add up the points. And whoever has the most points will remain in this competition. But who will that be? I do not know. Anything can happen but I'm going to be as fair as possible. So bear with me. I reviewed all of the photos, starting with week one. And one girl did better than the other. So who will be going home? The person that will remain in this competition is
take responsibility for yourself. You may leave. I love it when you're doing your thing. I'm on the big screen. She's the top model, top model, top model. Every other day.